Hello everyone, this is Taria from Hidden Truth Tarot, and this is going to be for the Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign of Sagittarius. Sagittarius, this is your weekly general reading. This is going to be for the 9th through the 15th of November, 2020. Sagittarius, please keep in mind that this is an intuitive reading. Remember to always take what resonates and leave what doesn't for someone else, okay? Alright, let's see what energies and messages we have coming through here for you this week. All right, we have the energy of patience. And we have life review. All right. Thank you, Spirit. Sagittarius, sun, moon, and rising. What does Sagittarius need to know this week? 9th through the 15th of November, 2020. Thank you, Spirit. Sagittarius. All right, we're ready. Situation, we've got the Four of Swords. In your foundation, we have the Three of Swords. What's benefiting you this week is the Princess of Pentacles. In your crowning position, we have the Eight of Wands. Your outcome energy is the Six of Wands. Beautiful. All right, victory. Okay. All right, so we have Patience, Archangel Jophiel. Your dreams are blooming more rapidly than you realize. Still, they need nurturing and patience, okay? You need to be patient with yourself as well as the process. Divine timing is playing a part here, okay? And, you know, I do feel like some of you have been waiting for a minute, but I want you to understand something. I'm getting within the next three weeks, okay? You're going to see something finalized come to you know, come to fruition that you've been waiting on, all right? And it's going to allow for an ending, and, a, and there's going to be a new beginning as well, okay? Now you have Life Review, Archangel Jeremel. Take inventory of your life and resolve to change or heal anything that is unbalanced. You know, this right here is coming up because I feel many of you, like I said, you're fixing to have an ending and a new beginning, and you need to make sure that before you close the door on the cycle you've been on, you want to make sure you take the time out to do a review, you guys. And, you know, learn from the things that you've been through. Um, when you do that, you're not going to repeat, you know, mo most likely you're not going to repeat any of those challenging situations that you went through. And it's going to be very important that you do the inner work, spiritual alchemy, okay? Uh, get relationships and get your energies in balance. That's going to be key. good way to do that is this four of swords energy as your situation is meditation okay going within checking in with your higher self you know this is oftentimes represents going within because you have answers that you need and you understand that those answers lie within you i'm also getting right here you have a blessing coming here okay and you know this blessing is coming from the universe and spirit wants you to wants to make sure you're you are refilling your cup okay and rejuvenating yourself so that you are ready for this blessing okay because you're going to need to be ready you know there's going to be no time you're going to have to you know hop on the wheel of fortune all right and go with it that's what i'm seeing in my mind's eye and that's what's coming through from my guides that's wonderful i love it okay <laughs> that's amazing sagittarius now, i do feel like there's a few of you that have been maybe sick um I feel like you may have even had to take a couple of days off work, you know, um, or you may have just took the weekend to recuperate and you're starting to feel better. You may need to take another day off, okay? Sagittarius, don't jump back in there and, you know, overexert yourself, okay? You want to make sure that you have allowed yourself to heal, okay, because that's going to be important. Now you have the Three of Swords coming up here in your foundation. This is what's driving you. Divine timing within the next three weeks. Now I do feel for some of you, you've recently dealt with a heartbreak, a loss. Okay, this could have been a loss of a relationship, a marriage. This could have even been a loss of a loved one, a family member. 
For one of you, I definitely have this energy where you found out your partner was lying, cheating on you, betrayed you in some way. Um, if it wasn't cheating, it has to do with money. They were hiding money from you, okay? I see you getting to the heart of the matter here. I see you doing spiritual alchemy. You're being the alchemist. That you're being temperance right here. That's your energy, temperance, okay? In the major arcana. And I see you doing that. I see you transmuting. You know, if this was a negative, you're transmuting it into a positive. You're using it as fuel to, you know, get you going and moving, okay? You're not stuck. You're not stagnant. You're not allowing whatever happened to you to... Uh, leave you in destitute or, you know, leave you in a position where you cannot move forward, okay? Definitely a uh, very courageous energy right here that I'm feeling. Very courageous. Now you have the Princess of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy in the position of what's benefiting you this week. This is definitely, you know, a phone call, an email coming in. There's exciting news. For some of you, this could have been an investment that you made, you know, a year or two ago. And now you're starting to see some material gain coming in, a harvest coming in. This could be business picking up, more contracts, more clients. For others of you, this is definitely you having a very practical, down-to-earth uh, opportunity. Maybe it's you starting a business. Maybe... Uh, it's a new career, whatever it may be. Spirit is saying that it will bring in stability and security financial flow. And you have plenty of room for growth and even more opportunities for more, uh, for more money to come in. Okay? If you've been waiting on a lawsuit, anything legal that has to do with the court system, it's coming in. Okay? And it's in your favor. You will have victory. Now you have the Eight of Wands coming up here in your crowning position. This is what you know. This is what you're thinking about. All right. There is news coming in here. Exciting news. I feel like you're going to be finding out what you've been waiting on. It's going to come to fruition within the next three weeks. Okay. Some of you, this is Arrows of Love. All right. If you're open and ready for a romance. Okay. Keep your eyes open because... Uh, there's definitely someone that's going to be making an appearance this week, okay? That you may have an attraction to, or they may be attracted to you, or it could go both ways. I'm seeing traveling. Some of you are going to be getting on an airplane. I see a body of water. So you may be getting on a plane and going over an ocean, okay? I'm seeing a letter now. <laughs> Some of you have a letter coming. Okay, and there's going to be money in it or a check. All right. Now you have the Six of Wands coming up here as your outcome energy. You know, this is beautiful. This is recognition. This is reward for effort. This is you being in the spotlight, getting noticed, Sagittarius. Okay. This is you having victory over challenges and obstacles. You know, you being triumphant. And Spirit says, don't stop here. This is just a six. There's a promise of more of this victory to come, okay? Some of you are moving up within a company. Um, some of you are stepping into a position of authority or leadership as well. All right, Sagittarius. I love each and every one of you with all of my heart. Please leave me a comment, you guys. Let me know how these energies are playing out in your situation. I send you all my love, wishes, and blessings, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye, Sagittarius.